Hi everybody, Jo here again. You know what that means? It's time for us to have a catch up. I'm coming into your craft room with you. So I'll put that kettle on. Let's have a nice brew, cheeky biscuit, and let's do some crafting. Now I have to say, I've had some lovely emails recently and thank you to everybody who gets in touch. It's so nice to know that you like our little get togethers. Um, and I'm so glad that it's making such a difference. It's such a hard time for so many ladies and gentlemen. So it's nice that we can be here for each other. Now, recently a, a couple of crafters have got in touch and asked about the gel press. Now I've done a, a few videos with the gel press and brush holes, um, but they've asked about stamping on the gel press. And thank you for your lovely comments when we used the, the Versafine Claire with the stencil. It's so nice just to almost stretch you a little. So what I thought I'd do today, what I thought I'd do is we're going to be looking at, at stamping and ghost stamping with the gel press. And this is the sort of thing I'm going to create. Now the ghost stamping, if you can just see, it's in the background here. It's a hint of, I've just used it for background stamping here. And then I've done some stamping. But I'm going to show you how to do that. If you don't have a gel press, do you know what? It doesn't matter. You can watch this and just just for your amusement. Um, I mean, maybe you'll like the fact that, you know, a lot of people put off buying a gel press because they think I'm not into backgrounds. I don't know what I'd do with it. It's not just about creating backgrounds. It's about creating um, finished pieces of work as well. You know, there's an awful lot you can do with it. So almost don't pigeonhole yourself and think that it's one specific thing. It, it isn't. What we'll do is we'll make a start. Now, I'm using the six um, circular, six inch circular gel press. I'm going to pop that to one side. And I've got mine on this um, large acrylic plate from All and Create. And I've got to be honest, you can buy them at Lavinia as well. And I've got to be honest, just for me, I find A, it means, because obviously gel press has got a really good memory. It is so much better than me. <laughs> my memory is just pants at the minute. Um, I mean, one of my friends did send me a, a lovely little YouTube link. So I've just noticed I've got a... a on there um, about a sat nav that would be perfect for me because not only would it tell me where I was going it would tell me why I was going there and I think that just sums up the way I feel at the minute <laughs> so like I say if you were to put your gel press on um, a surface I don't know say a, a, a rippled surface your gel press will pick that up now mine look I used paint on it the other day now I'm leaving that paint there because when I use paint on it again it will pick that up but I I'm going to use almost the cleaner side today <laughs> if there is a cleaner side so what we're going to need is just a piece of scrap paper and I'm going to use a couple of the elements inks and today I'm just going to use olive and mermaid just for the background and I'm going to use Billy Breyer he's coming out to play and what else do we need we need a couple of stamps I've got my card ready, put that here, and we're going to use a couple of stamps. Now, it's up to you which stamps you use. I've got, do you know, I can still see there's definitely something on there. Oh, well, um, I'm going to use a couple of stamps. And, well, to be honest, I've got so many stamps out here. I've got the seed head, the wild poppies, um, the field grass, the lavender. But I'll see how I go as to what I feel like doing, because I'm, I'm a bit like that. So I'll have my piece of card ready. Oh, and I need a piece of card for my clean-up as well. And let's get started. Now, with the gel press, I'm just going to move my stamps because I need a bit more space. You know what it's like, us crafters, we never have enough space, do we? And I just like to turn mine that way. And I'm going to start with the mermaid, I think, coming in from the top. Now, these are very, very juicy ink pads. Remember, they've got a high content of pigments compared to the water. So look at that, really, really rich. Now, I'm only inking up that half and I'm literally just going to come and work my way down my gel press. Just want to add a little bit more at the top there. Again, nice and light, especially when I get to this end. I'll put the lid on that, move that out of the way and clean Billy Brayer on my spare piece of card 
and then I'm going to come in with the olive but I'm going to turn my gel press round just because it's easier for me to work this way and again I'm just going to ink up that half of Billy Brayer and again just come this way but I'm being mindful as I get near the middle I almost want a lighter touch and I've just gone back at the bottom there and I've probably picked a bit of that blue up which I've introduced at the bottom which I quite like and I'm going to turn it this way because in theory I want the large blue area for the sky and the green for almost the grassy area and then again just going to clean the brayer now I've got to be honest the number of times I use these clean up backgrounds and they're great if you do die cutting even if you think oh I couldn't stamp on that you could use it for your die cutting now what we're going to do first is we're going to almost make this go stamping so I want this to be quite high now don't press too hard otherwise you'll get this edge here and you're not going to hurt your gel press at all just press enough to pick some of the ink up now you can if you want take that off i don't know if you'll see much the ink comes off here so you're almost getting a twofer so again that's going to make a great background now remember there's no i haven't put any ink on here just going to dab it to make sure it's clean so this is just your stamp almost your dare i say your naked stamp and we're just lifting the ink up and i'm going to add it to this one here Gonna have a few of these in my background again you could alternate your design if you wanted use a different stamp so i've got you won't be able to see it but if i, I don't know if i can angle it i've got the imprint of that on there but also on here look on my clean up i'm definitely going to be using that later I'll just move that to one side so now my stamping just wonder would it show up better if I put the white underneath I think it might you know I think you might actually be able to see now some of that ghost stamping so let's bring in some other stamps and I'm gonna start with a um bluebell this um quite it's the deeper of my colors and I'm using the seed heads and again, I'm going to go, I don't, I want to try and not stamp directly over. I'm building up my spring meadow, you see. So as much as I want quite a bit of stamping here, I don't want to over stamp, which is why I've gone for sort of the tall, dare I say, tall, skinny sort of flower. Mm, the sort of flower that I'm not, i.e. tall and skinny. <laughs> and then I'm going to come in with my poppies. I love this silhouette poppy and this charming pink just some nice bright pink so again inking up and just going to add these here and again I'm not pressing too hard I don't want it to be too sort of in your face but I love this almost this the way the pink and again, you versify and it's quite a slow drying ink, which is, if you think about it, is why we blot it when we're using it. So there's no rush here. And then I'm going to come in with Warm Breeze and this lovely little lavender just to give me some, you see at the front here, where they don't quite reach the floor. So I'm just going to, and it just gives us, helps with that depth. And again, alter the angle. We're not soldiers in a row, are we? Well, yeah, I think I'm going to be happy with that. Well, the proof will be in the pudding soon, won't it? But this is a lovely thing. If you've not done this, do have a go at this. Now, a little bit of water. I don't want too much water. So, sorry about the tapping. Just tapping my fan brush off. And this is the fan brush from Lavinia. And I'm just going to add a few little taps here. I don't want too much water because I've got my ghost stamp in there. And the best bit for me... Let's just move this to the side, having a fight there. With having it on my block, I can turn it over and I can position this. But I've got to be honest, for me, the best bit is, as you know, I'm just such a big child. I like to look at this. And as you press it, you will see 
Now, because I didn't add too much water, look, we haven't got a lot of almost bubbles here. That's fine. I didn't want too much because I, I want you to be able to see this ghosting here. Now, if you didn't want to do the ghosting, you could just add more water and you would get more. The original, if I show you, that's probably got a bit more water here, look. But again, the beauty of this is no two are alike, even if you try and make them alike. And I've got to be honest, that's that's the beauty of this for me. But for me, it's just taken it to create a piece of artwork, not just a background. So there we go. Now I've got to be honest, I love that as it is. So here you've got the ghost in look. And again, different stamps will give you different effects. And this is with the stamping on the gel press. And as I say, your VersaFine clay, your permanent ink will not harm your gel press at all. Now, to me, that could be left as it is. Now, the little tip to clean your gel press, just get your piece of copy paper and pop it down and take a second print. Now, if you wanted... You could do this on card and this could be your insert. I did have a lady message on um, YouTube. So two things, we've cleaned the gel press, pop that to one side, but also look at that, a lady messaged about inserts. Now I've got to be honest, you could put this on a piece of card and I'm sorry, my bad, I didn't tell you, this is a seven inch square piece of card because my finished is going in on an eight by eight card blank. But I could have done that on another piece of card, 7x7, seven seven, and that would give me a lovely, subtle insert, and I could just write my message on there. I've got to be honest, how beautiful is that? So happy with that, definitely keeping that. The other thing you can do is use it. We're going to need a mask. And if you cut round there, I'm not doing it on this one. I've got to be honest, I was to show you, but I like that and I want to use that. So I'm putting that to one side because I am sad like that. And this is one I did earlier. And if you cut round it, you've then got, if we want to do more stamping, you've got your mask for the shape. If you wanted to do some stamping on the outside, look, you've got your mask there. Now, obviously, I've got a little mark there. So what I would do is I would bring in some ink or just trim it. But like I say, it doesn't bother me at all. What I'll show you is on my finished one, I added a little bit of stamping. But like I say, really, you could leave this at, at this stage, couldn't you? I think the, the gel press, it's a mono printing plate and you want that look. We want it to look like it's a print. I really hope you try this because honestly, and especially if Mr Mojo, so many crafters have said that the Mojo's gone on holiday. And I know there's a lot of crafters that are almost, like I was, scared of the gel press. But this way, honestly, when you create something like this, the buzz it gives you. Now, I'm just going to add a little bit more stamping, just to almost for the foreground. And I'm going to use, you know it's my favourite, this field grass. And I'm coming in with black to bring it right to the foreground. And the reason I'm using the field grass is if you look, as you know, it's a very light. It's got lots of open space. So it won't obliterate the stamping behind. To me, it'll just add to it. So. And I want to keep the integrity of this shape. So obviously that. And I'm not going to overdo it. We're not going to have a pizza. You know, we don't like pizzas. But we just want to add... I was quite funny, my shoulder cracked then. <laughs> I think I'm falling to bits. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's lovely. And as I say, the black will just bring it to the foreground. Which will be so nice. And then we'll put another one here at that angle. Yeah. Just, I think, another one there. See, we've got that nice space there. And then just some tiny ones. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to overdo it. No pizzas. Just another one there. Right, so let's pop that to one side. Turn this round. See how we're doing. Now, I've overstamped there. So if you're worried about that, just get yourself, and this is what I would do, fine liner 
and you know what you can go all the way around so i didn't do this on my original and in fact i've got two fine liners one works better than the other i think this is the the better one yet so all you're going to do and like i say this is just about you know this is where you see when we actually do things how they turn out so if like me you get a bit of black it doesn't matter now my suggestion is here i purposely go a bit outside don't worry about your wobbly line i make it look like it's supposed to be a wobbly line and i tend to go forwards and come back just because if you try and make it too perfect there'll be a bit that isn't and it will really annoy you so i just do a wobbly line all the way around and then at a couple of spaces i just put a bit of the heart monitor so there we go and that bit there is perfect for heart monitor we don't want it everywhere just a few that'll that'll do nicely for me and then here where i've got the space what i want to do is just introduce now as you know i love adding butterflies and um, you could add dragonflies you could add um there's some gorgeous birds now for me a spring meadow you, you get lots of butterflies and dragonflies now i have been using the pound stamp recently but it's an open stamp and i don't really want to add any more color i love what i've got so i'm using the silhouette because i just think if I bring this in, look, you get four. And I just think for me, look how the silhouette shows up. And it brings, you've got reason for the black. We've got it here at the front and in the in the butterfly. So that's why I've gone for that particular set. It is a fantastic set, this. And if ever you're putting an order in, and um, I have got it on really good authority. I've spoken to um, Anya and, and the uh, lovely ladies and gentlemen at Lavinia HQ, and they are still shipping worldwide. So just go on the website. But for me, if ever you're putting an order in, you know, do get one of these sets. I just think they're very useful. And in fact, I'm actually wondering, I wonder where I've, do you know what? I'm going to put one there, look. You see where I've got that little mark? So again, use your acetate. And if we stamp it there, let's just, you know me, I don't, um, do anything fancy with my videos what you see is what you get so if we have a mishap we have a mishap together <laughs> so let's see if we just put that there yeah and then we're gonna need another just just to balance it just off the page there there we go yeah i like that and when you've got, I mean, I must admit, I haven't got a piece of black card cut, but if we just use this, look at that, when you mat it on the black, that makes such a difference. And I've got room if I want a sentiment. Now, a couple more little finishing tricks just to show you. Now, like I say, you could blend ink around the edges if you wanted, but we've done that a few times, so you don't need to see me doing that. And like I say, I like to try and show you something a little bit different each time. So what we're going to do is, on this one, if you see, I've almost gone for the effect. You know when you, I mean, when I'm walking Eric, obviously my Labrador, I tend to look at the sky a lot. And often it looks like the rays coming down. And I wanted to try and almost recreate that effect without putting the moon mask on because again we've done that before and it's nice to play and try something different so what i've gone for is these lovely chalk um pencils and they're just called chalk pastel pencils to be low and i've used them so much recently and so what i decided i'd have a little bit of a play and if you look, work with what you've got. So to me here, we've got a white area. So this here is almost looking, this is where I'm going to have that sun. So I'm just going to do a little bit and I use my finger just to blend it. You can use um, blending nibs if you want. And I'm just going to bring, I need to turn it around for me. I just want some sun rays coming down. Just a few. I don't want too many. I don't want to overcook it. Oh, that's an even number we want an odd number we'll just put one there and again i'm just going to come in with my finger and just blend it out now i just want it deeper orange in the middle again just blend it and then the whole thing i'm just gonna 
and, and it's just about building it up. So this is a lighter, sort of a beigey colour over the yellow. We don't want the yellow to be so bright. We almost want to fuzzy it. You know how it looks when you look up. And then I'm going to come in with my white. I'm just going to turn it round. Yeah, now you see how that's starting to build up and look quite ethereal. But I need it a bit more ethereal looking. So let's add some white. And it's the white. Once you add the white, it really adds to that sort of misty feeling. So we've got that lovely, we've got our ghosting in the background that's sort of like that misty feeling. And then I'm just going to add a bit more. And really, it's just playing, it's just building it up till you get the effect you want. And I know it seems a bit daft, I'm adding colour and then blending it, but that's the beauty of these. And I don't want it in your face, like I say, I just want it like it's peeping behind. And you can almost work on these, look, where they are, we can make them, make more of them. Yeah, I like that. So I'm happy with that. So to me, that just looks like, can you see, we've got that. And we're just going to add a little bit of white around here. So the whole sky has got that. You know when you look up and that, almost that misty in the morning, almost with that promise of it's going to be a lovely day and the sun's going to peep out. Yeah, so I'm going to put, so again, they're just my chalk pastel pencils and I have been using them quite a lot recently. I am getting a bit addicted to them, I've got to say. And then I'm just going to come in with just white, add a little bit of highlight on my butterflies. That would be on there. See how easy it is. Now, if you want, you can add some more. I just want to add some little dots down here. And again, so I'm going to come in with my white Posca pen. And I just want to add round my field grass. Again, it's almost like it could be little nymph, fairies. It could be little orbs. Insects. Midges. Although I have to be careful saying midges. My um, my mother-in-law always gets mixed up and calls them midgets. So I have to remember to say midges. Um, now, I don't know if you have midges where you live. They're the little flies that come out when it's warm. You know, when you have that hazy sun. So I don't I don't know whether you have those. If not, I don't, I don't know what you have. <laughs> so, some little insects flying around. And again, it's just building up that lovely feeling. And then to finish off, the last thing we're going to do is add some of this. I'm really into these, the eco glitters. And like I told you before, I just love the jars because I'm a bit daft like that. And I'm sure there's a lot of you like me. How many times do you buy something just because you like the packaging? Now, I've gone for mermaid blue just because I thought with the colour tones here, really the blue is going to really go. And I'm going to add my quickie glue pen. And I'm just going to go and I'm just going to dab again the blue and it's just where we've got our seed heads here and where we've got the lavender. And I'm just thinking it's going to be a nice contrast. We've added the white. Let's add a little bit of the blue. And it's just all these little finishing touches that and I think the glitter goes nice. We've got the earthy feel of the mono print and then we're going to add some pretty glitter and what's nice about this is it's not over the top glitter and that's one reason I'm doing these dots which probably sounds really annoying when you're listening so I do apologise again now make sure you've got your card underneath to catch your glitter so we'll pour it all on and then tap it off and again, I always just like to flick the back. Now, I, I would have a spare brush just in case. So here, where I've only just stamped, we may have some stray glitter. It may have just attached itself to the um, Versafine clay because obviously it's a slower drying ink. And I'm just going to tap the back. Oh, that's lovely. Let's just take that little bit off there. 
So if I just show you that, hopefully you can see that. Can you, just trying to look whether you can get, I'm hoping you can really catch the glitter there. So we're hoping we've got that lovely hazy look up here in the sky and then we've got the lovely glitter just catching. Right, and obviously this glitter all goes back in your pot. I'll never forget the first time I saw somebody using embossing powder and they tipped it all on and I thought, oh my goodness, what a waste. <laughs> but obviously as crafters, everything goes... Gentle tap, and then back in the pot. So that one is the mermaid blue. I'm just going to give that a wipe with my inky binky, and there we go. So I hope you like that. I hope there's a few things there I've shown you that you can go away and play with. So we've got our ghost stamping in the background. We've got our stamping on the gel press with our VersaFine Clair. Again, you know, I do think if you've bought these inks, make sure you use them. We tend to stamp in black so much. And then a little bit of black stamping in the foreground. And then our, our butterflies. And obviously the butterfly on the little mat there that I made. And I'm just going to bring in the original. See if I can manage to get them side by side. So I'm really hoping you try that. I'd love to know what you think. Um, thank you as always for joining me. As I say, a few different effects. So things for you to get your teeth into. And don't forget you can watch the video as many times as you want. And maybe mix it up a bit. Have a look at what stamps you've got. Maybe do one clean and simple like this. And then maybe do another with some inking around the edge. And maybe some stamping, you know, I love that, and script, sacred spells. Maybe that in the background too. Anyway, it was lovely having a, a catch up with you. I hope you're feeling well today. Nice smile. I did put my lippy on, so I'm here. Lippy on. You take care, everybody. Thanks as always for your support. It really means a lot. And thanks for chatting with each other. Again, that's so important. We've got such a lovely community here. So you take care. I'll pop back again soon. Love and hugs to everybody. Bye for now.